Hi. Oh, it's all right. What happened here, little guy? <laughs> I saw him here somewhere. Let me help you. I can heal these spirits and restore balance to the forest. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. Stay here, spirit. You must move on. You are the one who does not belong. I will never abandon my people. The rot seem quite fond of you. They're usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. Trapped spirits linger here, tangled in the tragedies of our past. You must help these spirits if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. On my way, I met two children. They asked me to help free a boy named Taro. I'm not surprised that Benny and Saya found you. They are clever children, and would do anything for their brother. We have always crafted wooden masks to honor those who have passed on. Placed here, the masks slowly turn to dust, aiding the spirit's journey into the next life. My father was a spirit guide. Our traditions are different, but he helped many spirits pass from this life to the next. So you know what happens to spirits unable to move on. Take Taro's mask. 
It is bound to his spirit and will help you fulfill your promise to the children. safe now. Look, Sire, she cleared away the poison. The little guys can eat it. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> My name's Kana. What are you two doing out here, alone in the forest? Don't worry about us. We've been here a long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the gross poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? 